John Carpenter, a visionary filmmaker whose sci-fi and horror films redefined both genres in the late 70s and early 80s. His films expertly blend genre thrills with biting social commentary. His minimalist aesthetics and electronic scores set new standards. His films were more than exploitation exercises. They were cultural touchstones that explored paranoia, distrust in institutions, and reflected the anxieties and fears of the Cold War era. Howard Hawks's Only Angels Have Wings, a thrilling adventure drama set on a remote South American airfield. It explores themes of courage, sacrifice, and love amidst danger with a signature Hawks blend of snappy dialogue, strong characters, and stunning aerial sequences. Orson Welles's Chimes at Midnight is a raucous, exhilarating epic. Its grimy battle scenes and booming laughter capture the chaos and joy of life. The Battle of Shrewsbury sequence is one of the greatest action scenes ever committed to celluloid. Falstaff, played with gusto by Wells himself, is a rogue with a heart of gold. This film is alive, messy, and bursting with humanity. It's Shakespeare as it was meant to be seen, full of passion and revelry. Howard Hawks' Rio Bravo. The story unfolds in a dusty Texas town where the sheriff finds himself outnumbered and outgunned. With only a handful of allies, the sheriff must hold a killer in jail while facing the wrath of his ruthless brother. This symphony to loyalty, courage, and friendship, set against sun-drenched vistas and taut action sequences, is a timeless ode to the American West. Luis Buñuel's The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie is a cosmic vaudeville show, a mischievous dance of manners and absurdity. The bourgeoisie's futile pursuit of a meal becomes a metaphor for life's endless interruptions and unfulfilled desires. It has been well at his most playful and profound. Roman Polanski's Chinatown is a labyrinth of deceit, corruption, and shattered illusions. A cynical private eye, Jake Giddies, becomes entangled in a web of conspiracy that reaches the highest levels of power. This sun-drenched nightmare of a city hides secrets as dark as its shadowy alleys. Chinatown is a haunting portrait of a fallen paradise. Howard Hawks's Bringing Up Baby is pure screwball bliss. A dizzying whirlwind of wit and chaos. Hepburn and Grant ignite the screen with their electric chemistry. Their verbal sparring is as sharp as baby's claws. This is a comedy that doesn't just make you laugh, it leaves you breathless. John Ford's The Searchers is a haunting ballad of obsession and revenge where the stark beauty of the West mirrors the darkness in men's hearts. The anti-hero, Ethan Edwards, a man twisted by hate, embarks on a quest that consumes him. It's a Western that gallops beyond genre, a stark exploration of the human soul. Luis Buñuel's The Exterminating Angel is a savage social x-ray, exposing the barbarism lurking beneath the bourgeoisie's polished veneer. They are trapped not by walls, but by their own pettiness and absurd rituals. It is a hilarious and horrifying masterpiece. Howard Hawks' Scarface is a brutal ballet of ambition and excess, a gangster epic that explodes with the raw energy of the 1930s underworld. Paul Muni is a force of nature, a ruthless climber who claws his way to the top, only to be consumed by his own insatiable greed. It's a cautionary tale with the seductive allure of forbidden fruit. Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. This film revolves around an ex-cop who suffers from an intense fear of heights and is hired to stop an old flame's wife from killing herself, but nothing is as it seems. Carpenter called this thriller, quote, a perfect nightmare. It's a dream and it's stunning. It's so dark and obsessive. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.